A devastating scene in Southington where a business burns out of control. That's right. We have received lots of amazing videos and pictures sent in from that scene. There have been explosions and flames shooting from the building that has dangerous chemicals inside. News H Jamie Muro live out there tonight from the scene in Southington. Jamie. Keith, good evening. Snow has started to fall here in Southington, but that has not stopped the work of fire crews as we push in here. Several fire crews still on scene. Actually, you probably can make out one fire truck now leaving, but the center of activity obviously in this garage where there was heavy smoke, heavy flames, and inside, well, some classic cars that are now lost. You're looking at a gearhead man cave, or at least the charred remains of one. Muscle cars, hot rods, yeah. All inside there. All inside there. Gone. Gone. This garage on Clark Street in Southington is being rented out by an auto club called Disturbed Image. Ironic, really, that this was the disturbing image that some members rolled up to as firefighters did their best to temper the flames. You know, we're all good people. We just came, we just built our trucks. We, we didn't cause any trouble. We just, you know, and. It's a tragedy. It was a tough fight. Balls of fire, plumes of smoke, water versus a garage housing, propane tanks, tires, diesel fuel. This is actually like the hangout, the clubhouse, and where we all help each other out and restore cars throughout the club. And this is what we lost, basically that whole connection. Rebuilding cars takes time. Rebuilding a horsepower driven man cave may take even longer. And perhaps another cruel piece of irony is the name of one of the cars lost. Which was yours? Like what car were you working on? Um, specifically the one that's right in the front bay. The white one right that there? The white one. What is that? I can't, I'm sorry, I can't tell now. Yeah, it's a Chevy Blazer. A Chevy Blazer. Now this auto club also holds events to raise money for the United Way. We're told by the fire chief here in Southington that just today, 2,000 gallons of diesel fuel was delivered, put in a tank here, but thankfully, that tank did not rupture. We are live in Southington, Jamie Muro, News 8.